Hey everybody, welcome to Pub Crew. We are still here doing El Paso Save the Breweries. We are over here at stop number two. Uh, we are over here at El Paso Brewing Company. That's right. And we have Lorenzo, yes. who's the manager. And I'm sorry, I think. Evelyn. Evelyn, who's the owner of, of our, this fine brewery. And it looks amazing. And we honestly just have a couple of questions for you. We're, we're trying to go around and just get uh, an answer out of everybody who's taking part in this Save Our Breweries. That looks amazing. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but um, basically, what inspired you to open up a brewing, a brewery here in downtown El Paso? Well, El Paso Brewing has some, uh, there's four of us, there's four owners. I'm the actual managing owner. Okay. Um, and uh, three of the other owners had already started the concept. Okay. Um, but um, it, I was initially I came on as a solid partner, but now I'm running the place. Gotcha. So we okay. didn't really know a lot about brewing when we started. Um, I went to California and I took a course, a new brewery owners course out there, and I learned a lot. Awesome. It was a really good course. And um, I come back and we made it to December, made four years that we're open. Awesome, oh, four years. That's awesome. Also, we just, Congratulations. We just went by the anniversary then. Yeah, awesome. we just had an anniversary. That's so, so awesome. 2020 was really challenging, um, and we had a lot of plans. I had a lot of plans for 2020. Yes, um, very, very unfortunate year. They're on hold. Um, right. But I'm hoping that um, maybe not 2021, because the Brewers Association uh, predicts that um, breweries won't get back on their feet until late 2022. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's been a tough year. For, yeah. It's gonna be a while for us to recover. But um, but I, we have some plans in the works and some things that we wanted to get done and accomplish, and that got put on hold. So we're hoping to be able to rebound from this and um, and get back on track and get get this brewery going. And we have so many exciting plans. Definitely. That it's be Definitely. Awesome. Yes, we're all looking forward to that. A little, little bit of normalcy is what we're all actually hoping towards. And, <laughs> yeah. and that's, that's why I kind of liked the idea of this event was, you know, save the breweries. I was like, yeah, that's what we need, local save breweries. Well, this idea I got, because um, I travel a lot and I visit a lot of breweries wherever I go. Right. And I was in Tampa a couple years ago. And uh, one of the breweries, one of the breweries um, had they were doing an event in Tampa. All of the breweries in Tampa were doing an event similar to this. And I was like, I would love to do that in El Paso. And I always had that idea in the back of my mind. And then when the pandemic hit and we were hit so hard, and all the breweries, I, I reached out to uh, the breweries and I was like, let's get together and, and do something that'll let everybody know that we're hurting, that our industry is hurting. Right. Not only in El Paso, but nationwide, the brewery industry is hurting. So, um, so yeah, we they got on board, and and we um, we're doing we're doing this event. <laughs> Right. That's so awesome, and uh, I'm I'm glad to see because we spoke with your brewer just a little bit before, and I wanted to ask you what are you most excited about? Uh, you know your upcoming beers or anything that you have like any events. What are you looking forward to um, as far as the brewery goes? I'm looking forward to the day that we can reopen fully again. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah, that's what 100%. I'm most. I, I don't know when that's gonna be but I'm definitely looking forward to that, uh, where we can welcome all of our customers and, and you know, have a big party here and say like, hey, you know, we, we survived this. Let's have a drink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cheers. Definitely. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. It was just like an incredible amount of momentum that was just so positive. because I think you briefly touched on it, you know, um, three or four, so four or five years ago, there was no breweries, you know, it was just, uh, Mm -hmm. It was just David Slocum, you know, he was the first one. Mm -hmm. And then it was Ode, who was no longer with us. Yeah. But uh, I and just, then yeah, then it was Dead Beach, and then it was us, mm -hmm. you know. And, and just, you know, four or five years ago, I, it's, it's really easy to say that the El Paso market was just so, I don't like to say anything like negatory because I love this city where I'm from, yeah. but it was it's kind just, of dry. It's just inexperienced, I think. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people yeah. don't get the chance to leave El Paso. So if you go even next door to Las Cruces, there's like 
Six, oh, eight, Bird. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. just you, right, right next door to right, us. Right, and yeah. you go to Albuquerque three hours up, and there's 40 something, 50 birds. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So I just think that's why it's so unique and it was so hard. And that momentum was just super killer because, you know, we, we kind of felt like finally, like, okay, like people are finally getting it. You know, mm-hmm. we're getting repeat people. The, the education to the customer is not as much as it used to be year one, year two. Yeah. You know, right. You know? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, guys like yourself, you know, you guys bring more people along with you. And that's, I think that's, it's very funny to like happen. Yeah, definitely. And that's something that we're really trying to do today. Yeah. And I'm sorry to cut you off, but we are trying to just get faces of the people of the brewery. You know, we're trying to make it so that, you know, you guys aren't like, hiding behind some thinly veiled shadow or something like that it's not wizard of oz like you guys are working hard every day you guys are here every day mm-hmm. so yeah. we are just trying to put faces to all of these breweries that honestly uh i haven't been to as much as i wanted to but i have been here a few times before and i've always had a great time and uh, like just the atmosphere of it especially you know when we weren't in such trying times right you know it was just relaxing you know like yeah. it was super chill to be here and um, I completely blanked out on my last question that I had for you guys. <laughs> so if there's just anything you want to say to the folks. Yeah, I think you were saying just like excited for like oh. new, new beers, I think. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, our, our bird, he's just really just uh, taking a lot of initiative just to like. Yeah, he was breaking down a lot of the stuff and that sounds so much, awesome. Right. So not so much <laughs> like things that have been trending, but he's bringing back some really like stuff that we've never heard. You know, a lot of people never heard of, even like crab connoisseurs, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, he's, he's about to make a bragging, which I don't know if you know what that is. You know, it's like the meat. He uh, was telling us. Yeah, he was just telling us breaking that down it. for us. That's uh, awesome. I was reading up on, on some things in the brewery business and and different beers coming out and I saw Braggett and I told him and I'm like you need to make this I don't know what it is I don't know how you make it I've never had it but you need to make this get it done and, I like it and he did it he, he's just so such a go-getter yeah I, I, I love his attitude his enthusiasm for it yeah. I mean he he's definitely has a passion for it I, I think that's what's great is he had no problem yeah. breaking down what they got going on I think that's awesome yeah he, he's great he's awesome um I, I mean, without him and Lorenzo, we wouldn't even have survived all of this. They, they've been great. They've been coming up with different styles of beer and different things. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, and I, I mentioned to him, well, it's dry January. Um, well, we should have made an alcohol, a non-alcoholic beer. Yeah, that's what you're yeah. showing us he's, right now. He's literally doing that <laughs> as we right speak. Now, that's what's getting done. At recording, <laughs> it's yeah, awesome. It's literally getting done, and that's amazing. And. I mean, honestly, we want to thank you so much for having us. Sure. This well, is, we appreciate this is, you guys' time. We yeah. really appreciate that you guys um, are helping with the Stable Pasta Breweries event and promoting it and, and letting people know about it. And, you know, we've been struggling. We've been, our tap room has been closed for almost all of 2020. And yeah. we're still closed right now. We're still working with CABC to see when we're able to open the tap room, even though it's limited. But, um, but all of the breweries need the help. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And, um, like I said before, uh, we've had, um, since we started planning our event, uh, we've had some new breweries come to town that came after we were already in the planning stages, so we yeah. to include them. But uh, I want to reach out to everybody to support all of them Paso breweries, because we all need the help. Definitely, most definitely. That's right. Support your local craft, guys. Save El Paso breweries. Thank you, guys. Yes. We Thank appreciate you your so time. much. Thank you.